Hi guys, it's Lisa. Sorry I haven't been on for a while. It's just been hectic. I've been absolutely stressed out of hell. I think that something to do with the moons. Um, who is that girl just messaged me on Facebook? Bear with me one moment. <laughs> um, oh, Vicky. Um, I'll just type her back. Just two seconds. Um, just making a video. <laughs> right, where was it? Um, yeah, um, I think it's something to do with the moon phases or something that everyone has been so down lately. It's unbelievable. I know that the lovely Joey Morris has been feeling down lately. Um, a couple of other friends who I know have been feeling low and having depression moments and breaking down. Um, I've actually been breaking down... Um, was it? I think it was about a week ago. Um, I broke down. Um, everything just builded up inside of me. And I don't know where it came from. I just think I think it may be something to do with the moon phases or something. That um, it, excuse me, that everyone has been um, depressed and having breakdowns lately um, because everything's just building up inside of them. Um, but um, I know Joey Morris went to her went to the Morrigan. Um, and she broke down in tears, which is kind of weird because that is the exact same thing that happened to me, Joey. Um, I broke down and I went to Hecate and I don't know what it is. I think it just, I think it's the moon faces that's going on at the moment. I haven't got a clue. But yeah, I'm going to get on with this video. And Joey, I hope you're okay. Um, and I love you to bits. I hope you're okay. Um <clears throat> And everything's going okay for you. Um, right, this video is about... I put up a video... I don't know if it was two days ago, maybe. About video suggestions of what you would like to see me do. And um, I got a message from Rose500 saying that it would be good if I would do a video on how how I do my... Mag how, do, how I do my workings, like magical workings. What I use, how I do it how I prepare for it, and, you know, basically stuff like that. Basically, what I do first is I make sure that I'm very clean. Um, I will take a bath, um, a nice hot bubble bath, just to relax and make sure I'm all clean. And sometimes I will do my magic in just a towel. I know it sounds like, oh, my gosh, big mama doing, <laughs> doing magic in just a towel. But, yeah. Seriously, it, 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 what's the word, it, it's called sky, we call it sky clad, which means naked, um, <clears throat> I sometimes do it like that, um, that's basically if nobody's in the house, like the children, like if the children are asleep, that's mainly sometimes when I do it, um, and my partner's maybe at the club, um, playing snooker with his partner, then I know I have time for myself, and I can relax, um, I sometimes do the spell work maybe around about 8 o'clock at night maybe depending on when it is if you know what I mean um, but sometimes I mainly do it when the kids are at school and because the kids are at school I'm starting to lose the plot <laughs> look I'm surprised you can't see grey hair I'm going to have to get some more hair dye because it has just been hectic seriously yeah like I said um, yeah how I fathom out what, what to do with spells. I, like I said, I make sure I'm clean and cleansed and um, I clean my area. The door's just gone, the front door. Um, that's the dog. Yeah. The dog's gone loopy. She doesn't like the postman. <laughs> and it is 12.40pm. And it is the post just come. Yeah, where was I? Um, Lucky, come on, Lucky, come on, baby. The dog's crazy. Right, where was we? Um, yeah. Um, shut up, Lucky. Lucky, come here now. Bear with me one, just one moment. I will be back in just two seconds. I need to see what this dog's bloody barking at. Bear with me just two seconds. 
You can do that just for a couple of seconds by yourself. Wait a minute. Guys, I'm sorry about that. It was the postman. Sorry about that. Like, as I said, this house is hectic lately. I'm able to do this video because Aly Alyssa is taking a nap. Right, where was we? Yeah. Um, I'm cream crackered now. <laughs> yeah, as I said, I take a bath and make sure I'm nice and clean. Um, and then, like I said, I sometimes do, it, do spell work clothed or... Maybe in a towel with nothing underneath. Or maybe even naked. I know that sounds like a disgusting thing, but oh well. Um, what else do I do? I cleanse my um, altar space. There's my altar. Where the hell is it? Lisa, where are you? There's my altar over there. Um, I cleanse that first with maybe a sage bundle. Or I burn frankincense and myrrh. Um, oh, excuse me, stick. I think the dog is attacking the cat. Like I said, this house is hectic. Um, yeah, oh my God, no, I've got a bleach mark. Shit, yeah, hectic. Anyway, <laughs> yeah, I cleanse my sacred space. Maybe sage, frankincense and myrrh. Um, or I actually like to burn dragon's blood as well. Because um, <coughs> that's good as well. Um, what else do I do? Then I get all my stuff ready. Um, I will get my herbs that correspond to what I want. Like um, I will use like resins. Like I have re loads of resins in here. I have like, well, no, that's angelica root. I've got angelica root in there. Um, I, I've got a kesha gum, um, dumar gum, copal resin. It depends that what I will do is I will prepare there's my dragon's blood. No matter what I do, with every working I always use dragon's blood. Whether I just put um grind some up and sprinkle it onto the candle along with the rest of the herbs, just to give a you know a bit of oomph, a bit of a kick. Um like um <clears throat> I'll get my herbs together, like I said. Like for healing, I might use a bit of chamomile. I've got chamomile here. And if I were using a tea light. Um, no, basically, let's start from where I was thinking. Like, I would, first of all, I get everything prepared, everything I needed. I get the candle that I wanted. Say this is like for for money or whatever. Yeah, I'm just whatever. Um, I would um first off either use a feather or a knife, you know, to carve in the candle about like what I want. I would use rune stone meanings, or I would use. A sigil or I would write down what it is I want I would use also use a piece of parchment paper or a brown paper bag and write my um the net my name my date of birth um and my petition on it and then fold it up and then put it under the candle um also um with the candle after I've etched all the symbols and whatever I want into a candle I would dress the candle with an oil I would use olive oil and then I would um oh so I would rub my oils um oh my gosh wait a minute <coughs> I would rub my oils um into the candle and then I would um sprinkle the herbs onto the candle. Sorry I'm just trying to push this thing back the wick back through here. It's driving me mad. Right, let me just get that wick back through. Please just go through back through the candle. I did make you for a reason. Oh my gosh. Bear with me a second. This candle's on one. Right. <coughs> the candle's on one. I don't know what sort of it. But yeah. Um, I would to like anoint the oil. Um, anoint the oil all over the candle after you've etched all the stuff into it. And then I will like sprinkle herbs on top of it. Um, and then I will put like a bit of dragon's blood on it as well. But if it's, a, say, a tea light, like, say, these ones, I won't sprinkle it on top sometimes. I take the bottom off and I put the herbs in the bottom. 
and I will put the petition in the bottom as well. Do like on a little tiny square, fold it up, put it on the bottom, put all the herbs in. But I will anoint the candle with the oil and just put a tiny weedy bit of herbs on because if you do put loads on, it's gonna catch on fire and yeah. Um, so that's how I do it. Oh, just put that there. And you can I use chime little tiny chime candles, I use votive candles and tea lights as well. The dogs just fell off the bed. Yeah, like I said, that's how I do my stuff. And then I will to get in the frame of mind, <clears throat> I set after I've done all that, I set all the altar up and put the incense burning. I always normally burn um sometimes draw um burn dragon's blood because um it's more potent and it gives you all your spells a kick so that's what i use um some spells call for different things like for love you might want to use rose or something like that or vanilla or honey to sweeten it um that's also stuff that i do as well like um if it's a say if it's a love spell i will use honey on the candle to sweeten the love um or i will make um different things really this candle's on one i swear to you I made this candle and yeah, it's gone knackered. I've just pulled the fecking wick out. I will sort that out in a moment. So yeah, that's basically the things I do. And then I set me all up. And then I what maybe write down um a prayer um <coughs> or um a spell that I want to say. Lately I've been using the Psalms because I'm um learning hoodoo right now and her, uh, root work and stuff like that. Um I use, sometimes I use the sounds and sometimes I just write my own spells and say the spells over it. Um, sometimes I do it over different periods of days, depending on how I want the spell to work. Um, sometimes I, I do it for three, um, work the spell for three days because number three is Hecate's number. So that's how I work my spells around that. I do it for consecutive of three days maybe. Um, and it always seems to work well for me. Um, what other things can I tell you to do? Um, don't let anybody near your candles. Um, don't let them. Do never, oh my God, never, ever, ever blow out a candle. Because it's disrespectful to the fire element. And your spell could turn out very, very wrong. Um, and that's not something you want to do. Always snuff out a candle with a candle snuffer um, or a shot glass. This is basically how I do my magic. Um, like I said, right, here we go again. First off, what I do is I cleanse myself, have a bath, or if you have a shower, have a shower. Um, then I will cleanse my sacred space, um, get all my tools together, what I want, prepare them, um, write in my candles what I want, write out my petition, um, oil the candles up, use the herbs that you need that correspond to it, um, set it on your altar, light your incenses, Get in that frame of mind. I always play a bit of music sometimes to get me in that frame of mood. I always tend to go with Enya because she um, kind of makes me feel more mellow and more happy. Um, and that, while I listen to her, I get into the frame of mind of where I can think straight and concentrate on my magic. And then I place my hands by my candles and then close my eyes and think and imagine that whatever I want to manifest is going to manifest and then I light my candle and say my prayer or say my spell so basically that's how I do my magic so I hope you liked it sorry about the video being a bit hectic all over the bloody place but yeah um I hope you like this and leave me a comment in the comment bar if you want to know anything else okay blessed be guys bye